Hi guys, it's still June 30, 2019. I just read this comment. The sewage backups must be massive and even more widespread than you're able to show. Yes, absolutely right. But you gave me permission to just very quickly post what I was unable to post. Heavy rain impacts waterway. Heavy rain, sewage, ah, in Indiana. It's a combination of storm water and um, sewage. So that's the combined sewer system. The impact of this rain stinks. We do have raw sewage entering our waterways. The Dig Indy Underground Tunnels. We do have raw sewage entering our waterways. Well, guess what? Raw sewage is entering almost every waterway. Here, uh, sewage continues to seep into Missouri River. Huh, Kansas City, Missouri. Fix what looks like a massive sinkhole behind me. We'll show you that in a second. But that is where they found three giant pipes that burst. One that's about 12 inches, one that's about 30 inches, and one that's big enough you could drive that truck right through it. So what you're looking at is the sinkhole that was created at the time that the pipe likely broke. That's Brent Herring. He's with Casey Water. He's the guy in charge of fixing this. It's always alarming because this is what we work to ensure does not happen. What happened? Those sludge pipes burst. Why isn't clear? So we'll get in there. Why isn't clear? Well, think about the extremely low frequencies going through the ground. Powerful frequencies going through the ground can, can uh, make those sludge pipes burst. Jackson sewage released into Pearl River. Yep, Jackson. Um, here, EPA records show Jackson's main water treatment facility released nearly 3 billion gallons of minimally treated sewage into the Pearl River over a six month period last year. And uh, city and federal officials are to meet later this month or in March to renegotiate the consent. Um, the repeat of sewage dumps into rivers. If you do a research, I'm trying to get the most recent. You do a research, uh, do a search of sewage spills, and you will see that We've got rivers where these plants are dumping sewage annually or every six months. The rate of sewage spills in this country is phenomenal, but it's happening all over. It's happening in the UK. It's happening in India. It's happening in China. It's happening all over. Interesting that all these countries are having problems uh, containing their sewage at the exact same time. Here, collapsed sewer pipe spills 100 gallons, 100,000 gallons of sewage into Nagadash's Creek, Nagadash's Creek, uh, yeah, Texas. And most of the sewage spills that you see are related to flooding. 24 million gallons of sewage being pumped into Mississippi every day. Wastewater plant takes on nearly triple the amount of water and pumps out millions of sewage into the river. And everything will be linked to below, so if you want to check out, I'm just flipping through the headlines. That dead zone in the Gulf, record-breaking Midwest rainfall, washed tons of fertilizer and sewage water out to sea, contributing to a devastatingly large patch of polluted water off the coast of Louisiana and Texas, where the Mississippi River empties, the ocean is dying, 
this is a cyclical event, but this is the worst because of all of the fertilizer and sewage coming down the Mississippi. So it's a dead zone. Those, uh, the aquatic life that can get away will survive. Those that can't get annihilated. Wastewater released into Creek at Russell, Kansas to relieve overwhelmed sewer system. Too much flooding. Sewage overflows reported at Niagara Falls and other West New York locations. Okay, <laughs> sewage spills one after the other. And this was back in March. Was it back in March? Yes. A uh, pair of sewage overflows in Niagara Falls were reported Friday morning. So uh, approximately 500,000 gallons of untreated sewage was released into the river near the Rainbow Bridge. And then hours later, 1 million gallons of untreated waste and storm water discharged into the lower Niagara River. Uh, other sewage discharges were reported in Kenmore, West Seneca, Grand Island, New York. Heavy rain and flooding causes sanitary sewer overflow in Mobile, 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 Alabama. June 28th, Davenport pumping sewage into river. Ah, well, all the flooding in Iowa overwhelmed their sewage system, so pumping it into the river. Mississippi. You know, it's funny how the two-legged, the individual two-legged is blamed for uh, what's happening here on Earth. We're blamed. We're the reason for all the climate change. We breathe. We drive. You know, we shop. We consume. But do you ever hear mainstream media really focusing on who the biggest culprit is? Corporations? Mining companies? That are destroying this planet? No. No. Because it's a corporate world. We had a corporate takeover a lot, way, way longer than these recent years. Corporate takeover, it was clear in the 80s. And we didn't hold anybody accountable. So here we are. You know, government merged with corporations. I, you know, I, it, I'm sure it was going on when I was a kid, but it was obvious in the 80s. And we didn't do anything. So, you know, when you just let people get away with their outrageously immoral behavior and in terms of government, their treasonous behavior, do you think it's going to get any better? No, it only gets worse. So U.S. mining sites dump 50 million gallons of fouled wastewater daily. Wow. Every day, many... Many millions of gallons of water loaded with arsenic and lead and other toxic metals flow from some of the most contaminated mining sites in the United States and into surrounding streams and ponds without being treated. That torrent is poisoning aquatic life and tainting drinking water sources in Montana, California, Colorado, Oklahoma, and at least five other states, companies that built mines for silver, lead, gold, and other hard rock minerals could move on once they were no longer profitable, leaving behind tainted water that still leaks out of the mines and is cleaned up at taxpayer expense. Yes. Yes, your government does not serve you. You serve it by handing over your money you know, because if you don't, well, then you get to see the government force come down upon you, come down upon you. Um, we have been 
we just continue to get screwed left and right, and that's been going on my entire life. Um, why do we, you know, we have so many statists in our, in our country, and no matter how frustrated and angered they become when, you know, they're paying taxes, the services in their community, well, they're not getting them. They don't even get answers uh, of the problems that are reoccurring. You know, in, in this case, the sewage overflowing has been happening in many communities, not just once, twice, but it's a repeated affair. Um, the flooding that is taking place now, I, I can't believe how many uh, news clips with people who have been saying, I complained to my county officials, my neighbor complained, um, nothing is being done, they're not, you know, doing anything. Uh, and then they say things like, and you know what, they better, they, they, we really need this problem fixed. You know, you, you, there's got to be a psychic change with Americans. You ain't, you're not living in the same country you did decades ago. You're living in a very different country. There has been a takeover and you, you will be treated well like that sewage that is coming out of your toilet bowls. That's it. We're, we're, we're the tide, we don't have the numbers to reverse the tide. So this com this company, well, it is a company, it's a corporation, the United States government, corporation, federal agencies, for profit. All right. Um, look, <laughs> if Americans don't start to really try to put some of these unprecedented events, you know, uh, together to, to begin to question what is happening and to realize government is not there for you. Government is there to steal your money. And treat you like crap. Tulsa Health Department gives free tetanus shots. All of these places that have had the flash flooding, health departments, yes, free tetanus shots. And you listen to the news clips and they're talking about all of the poisons and um, deadly uh, substances in these flood waters, certainly the sewage. So get your free tetanus shot to prevent getting sick. No one, I'm sure no one is being told this is a three-in-one vaccine. It's not just tetanus anymore. Diphtheria and another vaccine. I, I can't remember what it is. So when they're talking about uh, protect yourself from the poisons in the water, Yay! Line up and get that tetanus shot of all of the poisons in the vaccines. Recent flooding has Jackson County health officials warning people to get a tetanus shot. It just got to be careful if you get into that river water. It's contaminated with a lot of bad stuff. People dealing with recent flooding and storm cleanup are at risk of developing whooping cough and diphtheria. As 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson tells us, the demand for the tetanus vaccine is so great, some clinics had to restock. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, who knows if that's actually true. That could just be a lie to get people to think, oh my God, so many people are getting this tetanus shot, I should get it as well. That herd mentality, the go along to get along. 
Lincoln County Health Department giving free tetanus shots to those impacted by flooding. Um, you can you can click on the link below, find out. It doesn't matter where it is. This is happening all over in all areas that have been hit with flooding. So you have mold issues. You've got mosquitoes. You've got the spraying for mosquitoes. You've got people lining up to get that tetanus shot. You've got the sewage. You've got so much going on at exactly the same time. Tri-state flooding medical action may be required. Illinois. Yes. Medical action. Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Board of Health okays proactive mosquito control spray for flooding events. Yes. Spray all of those toxic chemicals. Get rid of those mosquitoes, but hey, I don't care about breathing in all of those toxic chemicals that are going to make me sick. If you've been exposed to floodwaters, it might be time for a tetanus shot. Just showing you that, yes, it is all over. All over. Dripping Springs family claims apartment infested with mold from flood. This month flooded 27 units at the Spring Apartments in Dripping Springs. Texans Alex Capriello spoke to a family that says their home is covered in mold. They don't think they're getting the help they need from management. <laughs> May 3rd, 2019, Dripping Springs took in several inches of rain in just a few short hours. Heather Navarro, who lives in the Springs Apartments, says her entire family is still reeling. He's been wheezing, he's been coughing. There's times where he can't catch his breath because the drainage is just so bad in his throat that it's just making him gasp for the air. Navarro says her boy's symptoms come from the mold in the walls. She claims apartment managers didn't act quickly enough to keep it from settling in. You can see how high the water was right here and the mold that's already building up on it. We've bleached it three times. The Navarro family says it took over a week and a half for management to come and take out about a foot of drywall to inspect the damage. Now they've just been told management will cut another four feet within the next few days. We had crews on site. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've got black mold here. We have... We have turned in a direction where Americans don't even care about Americans. And, you know, there's no way that this apartment complex that I live in, uh, they would never do anything. And the black mold, the uh, mold that you can you open up the cabinets underneath the sink or underneath the bathroom sink, kitchen sink, and you can smell the mold. But the mold, think about all of these homes that have been flooded. And whether you are living in an apartment or you own your own home, like my subscriber who lives in Houston, the mold was so bad in her home, you know, they had to dig into her husband's 401k, I believe, to buy another home to get out of there. But so many homes now, and I'm sure you know this, oh, well, we have so many homes that need renovation now we don't have the contractors so very often those who are not allowing FEMA to buy them out the uh, the repairs the renovation to their home could take years but then think about all of the fungi that is being sprayed all of the fungal disease on the trees and I read a comment from someone who said they have fungal uh, they have mold they have you know fungus on their sidewalks so do I here the the spraying of the fungi after a rain 
I would see on street signs, the, the sign literally just covered with fungus on wrought iron fencing on people's property covered with one rain. Yeah, man. Keep your immune system strong. That's, that's all I got. Hope you have a good night and <laughs> we've got a whole lot going on, guys. A whole lot.